Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to look at what it means to have an isomorphism between two graphs. An isomorphism is our way of saying that two graphs are equivalent. They have the same number of vertices, they have the same degree, and they have the same shape. If you imagine that the edges are strings and that we can fold them around, they were pliable. Then moving the string results in a graph isomorphic to the first one. Looking at the pair of graphs A, B, C, D, and E, F, G, H, they might not look like they're isomorphic just at a glance, but it's possible that they are. Now it's much easier to show that two graphs are not isomorphic often than it is to show that they are. So what you want to do when you're asked to determine if two graphs are isomorphic is see if you can quickly eliminate the possibility of an isomorphism by looking at two things. First of all, count the number of vertices. Graph ABCD has four vertices, but so does EFGH. So it is possible that they're isomorphic. The next thing you want to do is analyze the degree of each vertex. The graph on the left has four vertices of degree three. All of the vertices have degree three. And the graph on the right has vertices that aren't degree three, either degree four or degree two. So we can say right there that these two graphs are not isomorphic. Here we have four graphs and we're going to find a pair of them that are isomorphic. We're going to start the same way we did in the previous problem. We're going to look at the number of vertices. In the first graph we have one, two, three, four, five vertices. In the second graph we have six vertices. In the third graph we have five and in the fourth graph we also have five. So right away we know that the graph with six vertices can't be isomorphic to any of the other three. So we've eliminated that as a possibility. Next we're going to look at the degrees of each of the vertices on each of the graphs. Starting with the first graph, remember the degree of the vertex is the number of edges that touches the vertex. So we have a vertex of degree three, another vertex of degree three, a vertex of degree two, a vertex of degree four, and another vertex of degree two. On the next graph, we have a vertex of degree two, a vertex of degree three, a vertex of degree four, a vertex of degree two, and a vertex of degree three. So far so good. We have some potential here because each of these graphs has vertices of degree two, two vertices of degree three, and a vertex of degree four. That doesn't guarantee that there's an isomorphism, but it means that there's a possibility. Let's look at the third graph. A vertex of degree four, a vertex of degree two, three, three, and two. Hmm, so how can we decide which pair is actually isomorphic? Let's make some observations. Notice that in each graph there is one vertex of degree four. And in each case, that vertex of degree four connects the graph directly to two vertices of degree three. We can see this here in the first graph, and we see it again here in the second graph, and we see it again here in the third graph. One edge connecting the vertex of degree four directly to two different vertices of degree three. Now one thing that makes it difficult to compare the first graph to the other two is that these edges that connect that vertex of degree four to the two vertices of degree three are running through the center of this pentagon. But what if we could imagine it wrapping around the outside instead, just so that it looked more similar to the other graphs? For example, let's imagine stretching this string that I have scribbled through in blue here out outside the pentagon so that it wraps around the graph like the other two graphs. Similarly, I can take this edge that I've scribbled out in green and stretch it outside of the pentagon so that it wraps around the outside. Now let's clean this up so that it's a little easier to look at. So here I've redrawn my pentagon and labeled the degrees, and I'm gonna keep everything the same, but just with those two edges on the outside. I know that this new version of my graph is equivalent or isomorphic to the original. I haven't disconnected or reconnected any edges to vertices, so I think this is gonna be helpful in deciding which of the two graphs below this might be isomorphic to, if it is. 
I'm comparing this graph to the one on the bottom left and I see that we have a vertex of degree 4 and then right next to it if I follow along the string it's the next vertex over that it has a vertex of degree 3. Now if I go in this direction I, I do get to a vertex of degree 3 but I have to skip over the next vertex which is degree 2. It's not the next vertex that way. It's possible it could have been matched up to a vertex in this direction but once again you see how it kind of skips over that degree 2. I don't think that these two are my isomorphism. Alright let's check if this one is isomorphic to the other graph. Looking at the other graph you see this the same thing is happening. When I leave the degree 4 vertex going on the outside edge to the degree 3 vertex, I'm skipping over a vertex of degree 2. And the same thing going in the other direction. Well that's what we saw in the first graph. So I'm going to hypothesize that this graph is the same as this one. So I'm going to label it because the only way to really confirm that I have an isomorphism is to actually create the isomorphism. So I have A, B, C, D up there. Let's call this F, G, H, I, and J down here. I think that vertex C in that first graph matches up with vertex F in the second graph. And then next to vertex C, I have vertex D in the first graph. That's got degree 2 notice. And let's say we go to G on the second graph that also has degree 2. It is connected to vertex F just as D was connected to vertex C. From the degree 4 to the degree 3 we have that outside uh, path and that would have gone from C to E and we said we have something similar over here going from F to H, skipping over G just the way that in the first graph we skipped over D. So if E matches up with H, which by the way they're both degree 3 and that's required, um, what else matches up? Let's look at A. So A, you go from E to A, they're both degree 3. So from H, do we go directly to a degree 3 vertex? We do, right here. What we have here is that A is matched up with I. Okay, so we've taken care of A. Now after A, we have B, which is a degree 2. So over here, from I, we should go to a degree 2 next door. And yes, we do have a degree 2 next door. From I, we go to J. So B matches up with J. And that covers all of them. Also notice that from B, we could get back to C, the 2 to the 4, degree 4. And over here, from J, we could get back to F, which was also our degree 4. So C matched up with F, which was degree 4 to degree 4. D matched up with G, which both of these were degree 2. E matched up with H, both of these were degree 3. A matched up with I of degree 3 as well, and B to J degree 2. But more important even, well just as important as the degree, is the fact that their next door neighbors are still the same. So we definitely have an isomorphism between the first graph and the fourth one. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was, please remember to like it. Also, you can leave your questions in the comment section below, and you can follow me for more videos.